hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is um rachel and she was in today for a fresh set of nails so we've done all the prep on her natural nails we applied some of my coffin tips um cut them applied our clear base and now we're going straight in with design so this is a really simple set i don't know why i recorded it well i don't know why i record such simple sets and they're not my um you know more out there ones but anyway we'll get it up anyway so this is a custom mix um so it was um we mixed like a white and a pink and clear and we come up with this lovely color um so i'm literally going to put this on all of her nails so there's not much else i can talk about so i'll leave you to watch this
I left the thumb out because we get the idea. Um, so I wanted to leave a clip in of me filing. I had to keep stopping and starting to make sure that I was in the camera. This is why I don't file on camera because I can't get the angle right. Anyway, so we're using my files and we're just going to bring in those side walls a little bit and the free edge, get the free edge a little bit straight. I don't know why I do this, it's just habit because I always go in and shape at the end. So this is just out of habit. Just like to bring them in. So yeah, we're just using my 100 and 180 grit files to do that. So now we're going straight in with filing our e file with our e file. So I'm using this new bit from my website. It is a ceramic extra fine um, cone bit. So I'm getting used to it, and I it's you honestly have to touch it with the lightest touch. I've got I've got three new um, three new um, drill bits. Sorry, and they're all just so really good ones for debulking is insane it literally comes off like butter amazing but maybe i've just been using really blunt ones for so long and now i'm realizing that now i'm realizing how blunt they are so this um yeah this is all i'm doing it's extra fine so it kind of leaves it nice and smooth anyway so like i said really light touches i just concentrate on the cuticle area and then just file all the way down to the tip I always like to put a little bit under the nail just in case there's any acrylic under there. But again, I'll just leave you to watch this part. So I've been trialing some buffers um, myself for a couple of weeks now and I've placed an order for them. So they're coming to my website. So um, this is what I'm using here. They're purple here, but I actually opted for pink because obviously 
my fave colour is pink, if you didn't know that, now you do. Um, so yeah, they should be here in the next few weeks. So we're just going to buff these nails lovely and smooth. This is my favourite part. I know a lot of people don't like getting their nails buffed. I don't know why, maybe the sound, the feel of it. But I love buffing nails. It's my favourite part, probably because I know it's coming to an end. Um, but yeah, I love it. So once we've buffed the nails, we'll remove all the dust um, and we're going in. I'm just going to apply some glossy top as a background because we're going to do a marble on two of her nails. And this just helps it um, expand, you know, like, um, what's, the, what's the word for it? Um, bloom. It helps it bloom. <laughs> So yeah, just a, a layer of glossy top on the base. And then we're going to come in um, with Pink Punch from, again, from my web website, Dreamy Gels. Um, so it's just like a baby pastel pink. And I'm using my pastel detailing brushes to do this. So I'm just going to put it on the nail around me. I kind of do like a, a line all the way down. And then add one to the side. And maybe at the top, I think. Yeah. And then what I do is I just wipe my brush and I have a little blob of clear acrylic on um, my piece of foil or whatever you're using. And then you grab bits of the top coat and you just blend it and pat it on top of the pink that you've just applied. And it will just, with that, um, you know, the um, top coat that you've applied on the bottom, it will just help it and it will just bloom out and it will just make this perfect, lovely... Um, marble and then you can just add where you want to um, bring it out some more but yeah just keep adding bits of um, top coat to the pink just to keep blending it out so I'm going to do that to both so I'll leave you to watch So yeah, there we go, cured that. And now we're going in with top coat and we're just gonna apply that to all the nails. Again, we're using Glossy Top from Dreamy Gels. Um, the best top coat I've ever used. I know I'm biased, but <laughs> I love it. So yeah, we're gonna cure that for 60 seconds. We applied some oil and we are done. So I really hope you like this just plain, simple set. Um, Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in my next one. Bye.